Hello everybody, it's Jack 20 and oh my gosh, am I excited to show you all what I have here today. This here is probably one of my favorite Xbox Live Arcade games ever. Well, presented and produced by, well, guess who, but <clears throat> more so, Humble Hearts. Wonderful game company, I already, I am already so anticipating whatever next they're going to make. We've got Hyperdusk, Funky Rustic, awesome music. This is going to be my Let's Play, what else, of Dust, an Elysian Tale. Or Dust for short, because I don't feel like saying the whole title every freaking time. So let me just choose my hard drive here. Alright, um, this is a sort of Metroidvania style game, and oh my gosh, I don't want to be showing people this. Go down, go down to site 3 so people don't know. Uh, yeah, I I'm going to make my game here. All, all designed... And, uh, a wonderful voice acting cast, by the way. Love them. By which I, uh, I guess I can't choose, uh, subtitles. Auto fire, auto heal, auto level up. This is all stuff for later. Um, but yeah, this is all programmed by one individual. I forget his name. I feel so bad about that, but already I, I cannot wait for this. Oh, we have tough, hardcore, casual. Oh, dear. I'm just gonna do normal, because that's just me, how I, you know, do things, I guess. That'll, that'll do just fine, I think. Our world has fallen to fade. Its great works long since complete. Its storied civilizations long since fallen to dust. The greatest legends of Elysium long since forgotten. What was once a land of promise has fallen to the ravages of war. And it was in this, our most desperate hour, that the greatest of Elysian tales began. The lone warrior stood against an army, slashing his way through all who opposed him. The mob stood no chance, and the soldier showed no mercy, of course. But despite his victory, his skills, his ruthlessness, the valiant soldier would perish on this day. Not to the mob, but to a single child. And so our story begins. Interesting enough. Yeah? Dust. Dust. What? Arise. Whoa. Sword, what are you? Only that which you have summoned. Summoned? How? For what purpose? That I do not know. But we shall learn in time. I don't want to skip this cutscene. Now rise and claim the blade of Ara. I see. Uh, hello? Me? I'm Fidget, guardian of the sword. Really? Fidget? I'm sorry, I think I misheard before. You said your name was Fidget? Hey, this isn't about me. You're the one who's got my sword. How about you tell me your name? I'm... Uh... Calm yourself, Fidget. His name is Dust, and he is the one who woke me from my slumber. So, fidgets, then? That's me! And your dust? It would seem that way, though I can't recall that name. Weird sword. So, what is this sword? I am the Blade of Ara, and you, Dust, are my fated sword bearer. Yes, well, that's all great and everything, but I think it's about time I got this sword back to the clan. I can't let you just leave with this sword, Fidget. Right now, it's the only thing that knows who I am. I don't even know how I got here. Hmm. Well, then you leave me no choice. I... I, I challenge you! The winner gets the sword! Seriously? Well, I... I, I don't even know where... Alright, alright, you win. But don't think I'm leaving empty-handed. I'm coming with you. But, um, I really need the sword back when you're done doing... You know, whatever it is you're doing. What exactly am I doing, Hara? 
The answers you seek lie to the east. There is a path through the glade that leads down the mountainside, and from there you will find a village. That is your first step. Then will you give me the sword? I really need to get it back home before anyone notices it's uh, gone. When I find out just what it is I'm supposed to do with it, it's all yours, Fidget. Come on, let's go. Alright, I can just move around with the long stick. Alright, sweet. Got my HUD up there, as always. Got mini map on the right. Freaking health up on the upper left. This is probably all gonna be explained anyway. <clears throat> Welcome to our first area in the game. Well, obviously, we just started off. What, what, what are we gonna just jump into the second one? No. Welcome to the glade. I jump with A. Pretty basic. Nice. Oh. So hold down to look down. Up. Okay. X. Oh, nice. Get rid of this wall. Why is there chicken in this wall? Mysterious small chicken. Why the heck was there chicken in this wall? That makes no sense. Why would there be chicken in a wall in any situation? Here's an inventory. So there's my health items. So I can eat these for a quick boost of health. Character screen, blah, blah, blah. Whenever I level up, I'll get skill gems, which I can set into these basic stats. You know, attack, defense, how much how much health I can hold. So I guess I'll equip the uh, chicken in case I need to eat it quickly. From here I can view explored areas with the current region. Okay, whenever you see a circular uh, icon, that means there's something that you can uh, get out of that area. We have our quests. So I just gotta keep going right, that's all I need to know. Materials. Materials are collected from enemies, can be crafted. It's... It's synthesis. I, I've been, I know this, I know this route. Got our stats. It, 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 it's, it's basic stuff. So I'm actually gonna go left because... <clears throat> on your map, whenever you see a circle inside the square of the area you're in, it means that there's something you've missed, like an item or a key, uh, like a treasure chest or something to open, like what we saw earlier. So if I hit left here... See, aha, uh -huh, a treasure key. Oh, and I guess that's the end of the area. So there, see how the circle turned to the dot? That means that the area is completely cleared out. Nothing else to do here. So I guess that's that. Let's uh, let's head on out, getting this new key in tow. Try to think of anything else. Um, oh yeah, another thing I love about the voice acting cast is none of them really have like been into a lot of TV. Like a lot of them came from the internet and the stuff. Like um, hang on. What is it, Fidget? Well, my kind has what you'd call a sixth sense. And there's something just ahead. Oh, nice. So whenever that appears, Fidget means that there's a treasure nearby. Huh? The dash. Oh, so that flaming white bar up there is my energy. So when I use dashing and things like that, it drains down. See? And I believe you refill it up by using melee attacks. You know, just your normal combos. You know, just fast moving. Let's get ourselves another broken wall. This dang chicken, how does it stay preserved? Oh, I don't feel comfortable at eating it. A note. Let's see. The only way to reclaim these lost treasures is magically attuned keys. Okay, cool. So, I'm on a treasure hunt. Oh, there's a treasure now. We found a chest! Correction. We found a locked chest. Well, what are you waiting for? Smash it open. That would be unwise, Dust. These chests are protected by arcane locks from the last era, and are well beyond my capabilities. Oh, how... I suppose we'll need a key. Then. How convenient. Well, at least I have a key right here, so let's open up. Y, A, A, Y. This is a little fun little puzzle. Follow the leader, whatever. So there, I got some new items. I'm gonna equip the lesser one. I wanna save these chickens for when I'm really in danger. And, uh, I don't think I got anything else. We got a low to nut, another sort of low healing item. And, uh, ooh, a revival stone. Hang on, let me show that off. It's in here, items and keys. It's basically, if I'm about to die, if I take a hit that's gonna kill me, it'll keep me alive. So peaceful here. Oh. Hello? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. Wait, what? Ah, 
Calm yourself, Fidget. Dust. Focus. Remember what you've learned thus far. No, no! Mash the buttons! Do something! Okay, X, 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 just X and Y. Good attacks, I can do this. Oh, there we go. Strange. Where did I learn these skills? You wield the blade of Ara, and with it, all the skills imbued therein. Uh, hello? Monsters? Is that why I summoned you? To control this power? It is unlikely, Dust, that I would awaken from my slumber for such selfish reasons. There is a village beyond these woods. Perhaps finding it will aid in restoring your memories. And then we'll be in the clear, right? No more monsters? Fidget, I think things are about to get a whole lot worse. <sighs> and to think, this morning started off so well. At least take these feeble fruits. Something tells me you're gonna need them. Wait, you've had these this whole time you never thought I'd give them to me? Oh well, you can use the left bumper to quickly heal yourself up with, I, you know, with the... Uh, with the, uh, whatever I- whatever healing item you have yourself equipped with. Save in slot 3, so I don't have to keep trying to spoil you guys with my first save file. Okay, so there's a first combo. Whoa! Oh, nice! Uh, I just parried him there. It's- don't, don't worry, trust me, it's gonna explain everything about what I just did. I actually did not mean to do that. It's all about timing with the parry, I'll say that much. The game will pretty much cover for me later. Oh yeah, if you haven't already realized it, this game and its combat scheme is all about... It's all about the combos. The more combos you get, if you actually get a pretty high enough combo, you can actually get bonus experience from battles. Come on, who else wants one? Get up, get up, there you go. Get some more materials. Oh yeah, I've been actually collecting some materials, it looks like. The little items that people are dropping. Oh, nice! So I can go from... I can go into the air, nice. Huh! There we go! But yeah, um, particularly, I believe, if I'm correct, uh, if anyone here has ever heard of the VG Cats comic adaptation with no name, a lot of the voice actors from this, uh, game actually came from that. So it's just, it was, th this game started off on the indie marketplace, and then it just exploded into popularity, and now is, I guess the, the, uh, I'm trying to think, of it. it's like, the, the equivalent of the, of the Steam Greenlight happened on the Xbox Live Marketplace, so now it's a full-fledged title. I would definitely recommend it, if my nerding over it hasn't already given that away. Whoa. New ability. Hold here, Dust. You have unlocked a new ability. Bear witness to the Dust Storm. Nice. I like it. Hold Y to perform the Dust Storm. But beware, skilled as you may be, you cannot maintain the storm for long without hurting yourself. Ah, darn. In that case, maybe I can help. If you press B, I'll perform an attack so spectacularly awesome that it'll produce emotions you didn't even know existed. Really? Please contain yourselves as I demonstrate. Proceed. <gasps> that was, uh... Very pretty. Hmm. Well, maybe I'll just keep the rest of my repertoire to myself. I'm sorry, Fidget. I'm sure it'll come in handy somehow. Actually, Dust, between the three of us, this could be quite useful. The Dust Storm can manipulate Fidget's projectile into a more powerful attack. Observe. Yeah. Whoa. my power, it'll use up a bit of energy meter. You can recharge the meter with melee combos. Yes, Dust. Between your combos and Fidget's own powers, you can achieve a higher hit chain, which will yield bonus experience after each battle. However, if you are struck by an enemy, the chain will be broken, and you will lose your bonus experience. All right. I think I understand. If this is all too much for you, you can check out the help screen via the pause menu by pressing start. Thanks, Fidget. I'll take a look if I'm ever in trouble. Uh, how about no? Oh my goodness. Say go. 
So the trick with the dust storm is you can never hold it for too long, otherwise you will take damage. You'll see dust start to glow more and more red. There we go. Come on, build up that chain. Build it up. Build up. I can get this to below, I can get this to above 150. I can do it. There we go. Who else wants some? Oh, nice. 200. I believe, there's an, I believe there's an achievement if you get at least over a thousand, but I've never been able to do it. Just because by the time I go after it, I become so, like, overleveled that I can, like, one-shot these guys. Oh, dang it, I've taken damage. I gotta learn how- I gotta start- I gotta get back in the whole feel of evading and whatnot. I'm so used to these guys being so easy from the beginning. Save point, whatever, whatever. Let's see what else we got going on here, come on. The only problem is that once I get the dust storm, it's hard for me to really pull off combos with the Y button without, you know, accidentally activating it. Ooh, blueprints. These blueprints, uh, if we get the right materials, let's see if I can view it here with the Y button. There we go. No, no, no. Okay, oh, I also got some other armor here. There we go. It shows me what the materials I need, so... Except I don't even know where a blacksmith is. I don't even know there is one currently, so it'd be kind of a waste to try and go out for it. Yeah, experience the blue bar beneath the green bar, which is our health. And the coins, I'm assuming you all realize that was my money, so that's the whole HUD explained. Let's see what else we got going on. Come on! Skill just don't learn. Okay, so Fidget's power may not be the strongest, but it definitely helps in building up the hit chain. Hey, you just leveled what? Up. Is that what I did? It feels good. Great even. Nice. As it should, Dust. You've acquired a skill gem. Open the character screen from the inventory to upgrade your abilities and become even more powerful. Okay, let's see what we got. I'm gonna put some in health, because I would like some more health, just right off the bat. Because attack... As long as I just keep the combos up, my attack damage isn't really gonna make a difference right now. So I'll definitely go into health and probably put some in defense. I think I start off with zero. That is not good. What's this? They chased and I ran. Five. Blah, blah, blah. I climbed out to the hand and made a leap of faith, and it's somewhere near Archer's Pass. So this is what I'm getting at. Archer's Path and climbing out to a hand and making a leap of faith. I'm going to have to keep that in mind. Let's build ourselves another wall here. or we'll break it. I'm just going to take... Uh, I think I need to clean this chicken before I even think of eating it. There we go. Get this key. Oh, but... Oh, darn, but the... It's not turning into a dot, so I, I guess there is still more. Oh, yeah, blue squares means that uh, there is a save point in that room somewhere. And to those of you wondering, I am going to go back to that room. The problem is, is I can't really progress in it without getting something that would allow me to kind of, you know, go into small cracks in the ground, which I don't really have right now. I mean, yeah, I may be awesome at platformers and whatnot. I will not lie. Okay, enough of, enough of just stroking a flatter mind and go. I don't have that ability yet. So. Maybe later. Who knows? It's probably. If this is a Metroidvania game. They're going to have to give me some sort of slide. There's going to have to be a wall jump somewhere involved. It's just standard sort of formula. Get out of here. Yes, artwork, beautiful, music, awesome, and I am not leaving until I figure out what the heck that last thing I need to find in here is. There is a circle, that means I must find it. Let's see, is it over, uh... Is there, like, a cave I missed over here? No, no, that's just a wall. Can't break that one. Um... Can I, uh... Oh, right! Duh, forgot about it. I can fall through, uh... Floors like that. Alright, and, and, and don't worry, if you miss it, you don't waste your key. If you miss it, you can... Oh, wow, I think I just got some armor there. Got some tasty cupcakes, blah, 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 armor. There we go, cotton vest. Okay, nice. Luck luck is the stat that basically depends on... It determines your, uh... The item drop of people, I believe. Which is very useful when I'm gonna be, like, trying to get materials and whatnot, like, later. Anyway. I'm trying to think of anything else. Ah, uh, I was talking about something. Oh, I was talking about something. I know I was. Oh, yeah, if you miss the combination with the, the treasure chest, don't worry... You, you get as many tries as you need. The key will not just... It won't just break away and disappear. Oh, see there, my energy's starting to get depleted. Let's see what else we got. Wow. It's really beautiful up here. Yeah. So, 
Any idea where we are? I was maybe hoping you could tell me. Oh, silly me. I seem to have dropped all my detailed maps and navigational equipment chasing after a crazy flying sword. I'm sorry I got you mixed up in this fidget. Well, you should be. Digging the sword, getting me in trouble. You know, now that I think about it, this isn't the first time I've seen this view. I've stood here before, in this very spot. Then perhaps you recognize the village at the base of these cliffs? It's hard to make out from here. We'll need to drop down to the valley floor if we want to get any closer. Very well. Proceed as you wish, Dust. Yes, maybe I will proceed as I wish. Oh, quest has been updated. Huh. Well, you know what? I'm gonna do that next time. Because I believe I've shown off a good portion of this game, and I I think I should just, you know, take a break for now. Just, you know, give people some time to watch other videos. I don't want my videos to be really long, either. So, until then, I'm Lucky Jack 20 to know the new The Let's Play of Dust, and I will see you all later.